Murdoch hanging tough, doing a great job. Now in high school, they'd be called off the mat already, but we're having a nice little flurry here. Seven seconds to go, and they're off. Franco, nice escape there. We're like a little off balance. Yeah, that could have been disastrous. Franco's been close to some big uh, points here. Murdoch just seems to be able to counter just at the right time. 2-2 two -two right now. The Franco was very good with those underhooks. Franco getting that underhook again. Back in with the other one. He's gonna jack him up and look for that trip. There it is. Got to hang on tough. There it is. And the takedown. And he takes a 4-2 lead now. Oh, he came out of it. And the escape point ties it at four. 55 seconds, but DeFranco doesn't have riding time. Barely, 13 seconds more than a minute. Remember, Murdoch has been warned for stalling. DeFranco has not. A little half shot there. Conditioning is definitely going to play into this last 30 seconds here. Both shoot at the same time. <laughs> Franco looking for a quick snap, go behind, and he gets two. Oh, nice roll. And that's 6-4. That's going to be a ma the match here. And Jason DeFranco, the senior from Cleveland State, with an enormously important victory here at 149 pounds by a 7-4 score. And that makes it 15 for Cleveland State and 12 for Kent State. 157, that's Anthony Ralph, the redshirt sophomore from Kent State. Eight and two this year. He was four and three last year until a knee injury sidelined him. He's up against the senior from Cleveland State, Brandon Gibbs, two and four this year, coming off a 14 and 16 season last year. Now, a victory by Ralph, a regular decision with would tie the match at 15, and there would be some equity, I guess. 15-15 <laughs> all, but Cleveland State once more, obviously. Oh! <laughs> Ralph, a two-time state champ at Chanel High School. A decision would tie it. Should he get a major or a technical fall or a pin? That would give the victory to Kent, pouring it out at the end. And how many times have uh, these boys ever been in a position to decide a match? Which is, as we noted at the top of the show, the interesting concept in college wrestling. Nice shot by Ralph. He's just got to finish. He's got to pop those legs off. Or sit back towards uh, Brandon Gibbs' Gibbs' head. Gibbs is looking for the stalemate and gets it. Gibbs is a two-time state qualifier. He's 35 and 7 his senior year at Uniontown Lake. Nice shot by Anthony. He's got to come out that back door. Ralph does. It looks like he's been gonna do that. Gibbs has got to lock in the crotch so he can throw him over. Oh, and he's got it. And the takedown for Ralph makes it 2-0. 25 seconds to go in the period. Gives his older brother, Sean, an outstanding wrestler at Pitt. Both coaches now at the edge of the mat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lucky for that. Oh, 
There's Jack Effner. Of course, he's been pitching it the whole night. <laughs> the whole Kent team standing. And the first period ends with Anthony Ralph leading 2-0. A little unorthodox and getting those legs in, but it gets the job done. Gibbs now wearing, trying to wear Ralph down. He escaped some fairly dangerous situations in the first period, trailing only by two. You know, and he put himself in those positions too, and he needs to be a little more cautious here with that. Got that arm locked up again. The ref letting it go. I heard a little uh, noise from Anthony Ralph, but he looks like he's coming out the back door. And now it's 4-0. 45 seconds to go in the second period. I'll tell you one thing that's great to see, Dan. There's only four Division I teams left in Ohio in wrestling. We now have Kent wrestling Ohio U in Cleveland State and Cleveland State wrestling Ohio U. At least there's a round robin among the three smaller schools now, which was absent for too many years. I think you're right, Brian. This is great for college wrestling. Look at the score. The whole match has been nip and tuck back and forth. Great wrestling. But again, it's going to come down to that heavyweight match. Even if uh, Davey would have scored a, a bigger decision, that would be the difference in the match. Last 17 seconds. Gibbs has got to be careful here. Last 10. Last five. And it's going to end up a Anthony Ralph four to one victory. And a well-deserved tie for both teams at 50, each team winning five decisions. What a great match. Good match for college wrestling. Well, I said at the top of the show, it had been some time since we had showcased college wrestling, and I think maybe we need to do it a little bit more often. What a, what a great duel meet, Dan. I think you're right, Brian. Each match was just hotly contested, uh, a lot of great technique, the intensity was just fantastic for college wrestling. I like to think that it was, there was a certain kind of equity in the fact that it ended in a 15-15 tie. And I'd like to thank both coaches, both Jack Efner and Frank Romano, for helping us out tonight. I'd like to thank Dan for coming down and doing the commentary as well. And I'd also like to thank Lang Kennedy, the AD here at Kent State University, and all of their athletic staff for their support. This ends this last bunch of wrestling shows for the, at the beginning of the year, and we'll be returning for the sectional, district, and state tournaments later in the year. And so for all, good night.